Hi, my name is Caitlin, and I'm the founder and chief content officer here at Word of Soar. And Dave's the guy that wrote this post. He is one of our content consultants. And I'm going to start posting video clips with our weekly blogs. And I want to do that because I'm hoping to amplify the ideas that are presented in what, um, what we're writing about and see if that can actually um, augment them and, and create more reader engagement too, which is you know kind of funny that this is this week's post because that's what he's talking about. So I want to share three ideas with you and then I want to ask you for a favor. Um, and the three ideas focus around what Dave does really well in this piece so that we as marketers can drill into what the science of content construction is. The first one, the first thing that I'd like to point out is the beginning of the blog that anyone interacts with, which is its title. And, you know, as humans, I think that we're just attracted to the, an idea of a secret. We want to be let in on a secret. And particularly today when we're let, let into or want to be let into this idea of quick value, which is um, conveyed by the, the phrase that he uses, the, the one word secret, that's something that is magnetic also. The second thing is Dave's personality, which really comes through through his humor. He tells us he's talking to mom, he's talking to his friends, he's self-deprecating. And, you know, the purpose of content is obviously to communicate value, but why not do it in a personal way? And it's almost as if you're hanging out with a friend when you read his content, which um, isn't something you can say for a lot of, a lot of pieces online. Um, but the third thing that I want to point out is by far what Dave does better, best of all, is, um, and that's related to the blog structure. And I, I visually think about his structure in terms of two consecutive arrows, and I actually I drew a, a diagram to help talk about this. But, you know, so you can see in this first arrow, Dave introduces this topic, and then he talks about the challenges that we as marketers face in creating content to make it, quote, compelling, right? But his blog really pivots when he gets to the solution. And there's kind of this, aha, okay, so here's where he's going moment. And then the blog really starts to get meaty. It's been engaging before. Um, there's kind of emotional content in, in, encapsulated in the story. But it, it really starts to get going in terms of value at that solution point. And he offers three key pieces of advice, and they crescendo and create a conclusion, which is where he ends up. And, and the purpose of those three key points, which I've signified here by the, the highlighter, is creating a roll-up that involves the reader to get them participating in terms of converting what they're hearing into something that they can go do when they're done. And that's why I've indicated with, you know, er these arrows, this progression right here, and then, you know, the dotted lines off the page, which signify basically that there's a continuation after the blog is done. And that really is the purpose of marketing content in general, is that it's supposed to create leads that can then be nurtured and close deals that accelerate business for, for B2B companies. So there's kind of a, a meta thing going on right now also, which is that I am trying to get you to participate with me in a new way, and I'm going to be tracking over the course of the next three months our levels of readership here in the blog, and so I would really love it if you could do me the favor of sharing our weekly content, whether it's this video or this blog, um, in the links that are at the bottom of, of the blog here on the page. If you can share them to your social networks or leave a comment and let me know what you think, what you're doing that's wor that is working, and also tell me what you'd like to hear about in the future. We will measure that and also integrate it into our editorial calendar going forward. So talk to you next week, and thank you for tuning in.